All right, guys. So today we're going to review what we've discussed the last couple of days in class, reflections, rotations, and translations. And we're going to put them all together into something called composite transformations. So basically, I have one image and I'm going to perform all three transformations uh, into one problem. So we're first going to reflect over the x-axis, so it'll come down here. We're going to rotate 180 degrees clockwise, and then we're going to translate it following those specific instructions. And then I have our patterns that are very important to follow in this chart to the right. Cool? Let's do it. Okay, so to make this a little bit easier, I've listed the original coordinates, so those are what we have to work with. And for each one, I'm gonna draw the new image, and I'm gonna label the coordinates on the image so that we can work with uh, each step. So first of all, we'll reflect over the x-axis, and looking at our pattern here on the right, when we reflect over the x-axis, all we do is change the sign of our y. So we don't have to switch the x and the y around or anything, it's really simple. Um, and that operation will flip this image over the x-axis. So for 2, 2, that will become a 2, negative 2. 3, 8 will become a 3, negative 8. 5, 6 is 5, negative 6. And 7, 7 will be 7, negative 7. So next we're gonna rotate this image 180 degrees clockwise, so two 90 degree rotations or half of a full circle. To do that, we're gonna follow this pattern again, 180 degrees clockwise. We just have to change the sign of both our X and our Y. So this one, we're gonna change the sign of both. It'll become a negative two, positive two. This will become a negative three, positive eight negative five, positive six, and negative seven, positive seven. That looks terrible, but don't worry about it. Lastly, we're going to translate this image uh, with this vector notation. And remember, this is the horizontal movement, or how the x changes, and this is the vertical movement, or how the y changes. So we're going to, every coordinate pair, add one to the x and subtract three from the y. So starting with negative seven, seven, we'll add one to the x, that will make it negative six, and then we'll subtract three from the y, and that will make it negative six, positive four. Basically what this is saying, guys, we're going to right one, down three. Moving on to this one, we'll add one to the x. It's negative four. Uh, subtract three from the six. So we'll have negative four, three. For this image, we're going to add one to the negative two. That makes it negative one. Subtract three, and we'll have negative one. So negative one, negative one. And lastly, add one, subtract three, we'll have negative two, positive five. And so our image, now that it looks a little bit sloppy, is right there. So even though the picture isn't extremely clear, I think we understand that we follow the three transformations and that makes a composite transformation. First, we reflect it over the x-axis, then rotate it 180 degrees, and then translated our image. The shape is still the same, even though it's facing a different direction and it's in a different quadrant. We followed all these steps. But guys, we can keep going. We could have another transformation. It could reflect again, could reflect over the y-axis, could reflect over a different line. All you have to do is follow this chart. You don't have to memorize it because you have your resources in these videos um, and in Google Classroom, but have this as a reference is something that you can access for the tests and quizzes and things like that. Um, because honestly guys, in the real world, you're not gonna have to be able to figure out how to flip and rotate images, but you do need to understand how things move in a coordinate plane. That's gonna help you a lot in this class and in classes in the future. All right, if you are confused by any of these three, 
Um, I recommend going back and looking at the videos and assignments that we've done in class the last couple weeks. Um, I don't think that they're incredibly difficult and a lot of you have seen these before in middle school and early on in high school, especially translations. This isn't a difficult thing, guys. It's essentially just taking a picture and moving it. So whether you're moving uh, this direction, up and down, left and right, pretty simple. Reflection, you can just think of it as common sense. If you're reflecting into a mirror, the image just flips. And then rotations, guys, you can almost picture just rotating an image. So think about it logically, get the concept of it, get it visually, um, but then use the patterns to get the real numbers. You guys are beasts. Keep up the good work.